and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and this video is about the Bagu Horizontal Duck Tote Bag. If you're new here and like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So first, I will tell you why I bought the bag and I will show you its features and then I will show you what fits inside the bag because I like to know what fits inside bags when I watch YouTube review videos of bags. So I am that girl that like carries tote bags. Besides this one, I also carry my Shakespeare and Company tote bag that I bought in Paris many years ago. And I use both of those bags very often, almost daily, when I just want something easy to style my outfits and everything. And the Bagu horizontal duck tote bag is great as an everyday tote bag when you want to carry books, laptop, and just your everyday carry items. Highly recommend it. Me loving the hot girl tote bag sort of movement aesthetic. I do like Bagu as a company. This is not sponsored by, by Bagu by the way. I just really like the company. In particular, the duck tote bag is made out of 65% recyclable cotton. So it is a little bit more sustainable. And also Bagu as a company tries to reduce and minimize their waste in terms of their production and stuff. So even like their famous reusable nylon bags. They try to use recyclable nylon as a portion of the bag and I think that's really awesome. So in general, I highly recommend checking out Bagu for your reusable bag, canvas tote bag needs. So here's the tote bag. This is the horizontal duck tote bag. I believe Bagu has a bag called duck, the duck tote bag, which is a little bit different in terms of dimensions. This one is the horizontal one, so it's a little bit smaller. And I think since I'm petite, I think this bag looks a little bit better on me than the regular duck tote bag because that one's really tall. And what I like about the bag is besides this grid print, because I'm still not over that grid print pattern that was popular during 2014 Tumblr grunge. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. What I do like though is that there's two straps so you can carry it like this as a shoulder bag and you can also carry it like under your arm like a I guess a satchel bag sort of thing and what I also like about the bag is that it has these this button a snap to open and close the bag so it provides a little bit more security versus a regular canvas tote bag so what I also really like about this tote bag is that on the inside, there's this big pouch. Okay, here it is, you see? And this pouch is a really good size. It's like, I can fit a Kindle Paper White in here pretty comfortably, even with the case on the Kindle Paper White. And depending how you place it, you can fit an iPad mini in here. I have the 2019 version and it fits in here with a thin case. I think I just have to lay it horizontally and it fits. Other than that, this is really good for like organizing your tote bag because sometimes I feel like tote bags easily just become like a black hole of all your items, especially if you carry a lot of small items. Like I carry hand sanitizer, AirPods, Advil leave, and also, you know, chapstick and stuff like that. So having this built-in zipper compartment is really nice because it helps keep the tote bag a little bit more organized so it's just in your tote bag is mainly your larger items such as maybe your wallet and books or notepads etc or an umbrella or barbell in addition this bag you can also see there's these little snaps here in the corner you can snap it together and it kind of changes the shape of the bag while providing a little bit more like some form of security since it keeps it more closed rather than open. I don't really use it like this since I tend to carry it over my shoulder and not like under my arm but that is an option for you so it does provide a little bit more flexibility in terms of styling this bag with your outfits. As for price, this is 34 US dollars, which is granted a little bit more pricey for a canvas tote bag, but you do have to factor that part of the tote bag is made out of recycled cotton. And also the canvas is very durable. It's not like your cheap canvas tote bag you buy at like a souvenir shop or anything like that. 
and also has the extra strap you know for your shoulder and just carry it under your arm and also it has a little pouch the zipper pouch compartment in the bag and the snaps so i feel like all those little details add up and that's why it's 34 dollars but i think that is still a really great price for a bag that is very durable and that you can use every day with ease and it goes with a lot of outfits so now i will show you what fits in the bag you know the best part of a bag review video so this is just a quick view of how much space there is inside the bag So here's a comparison of the Baigu horizontal duck bag tote and my Shakespeare and Company tote bag, which is more a standard tote bag size. And here's a size comparison next to Baigu's regular reusable bag size. So this is just for show. I would personally not carry just my MacBook Pro without a case, but it does fit inside the tote bag. It's just, I would use a case. So I normally use my backpack to carry my MacBook, but it does fit in the tote bag. It's just, I would recommend using a case to protect your laptop because laptops are far from cheap. So God protect your most important and expensive valuables. So you can hold the bag this way, just I wouldn't stuff it too much because then it'll get too bulky and uncomfortable to carry. And it also can carry the child. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I just really like this bag, so I wanted to do a review on it to help people decide if they want to purchase it in the future. So please like, comment, subscribe. Comment below if you think you would buy this bag. Or if you have any other types of canvas tote bags that I might be interested in. So thanks again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.